What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to my reaction to Colin Coward's ranking of the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. So yeah, I'm guessing he's just going to take the highest top 10 paid quarterbacks, obviously in the news of Dak Prescott. That's why he did this. And he's going to rank them 10 to 1 or 1 to 10. And I'm going to be reacting to his rankings, seeing if I agree with it or disagree with it. The link to this video will be in the description below. If you do enjoy these style videos, feel free to drop a thumbs up on this video. I would really appreciate it. And I can do more reaction videos kind of as these go along because you know Colin Coward, he always has something interesting to say. I kind of react to some of his NBA videos, and here we are today reacting with his top 10 quarterback list. And without further ado, let's get into Here's it. the highest paid quarterbacks now in the NFL. I don't and even television the audience will see this. So we got Mahomes, Prescott, Watson, Wilson, Rogers, Goff, Cousins, Wentz, Ryan, and Tannehill. So Brady is not there, so we won't be ranking Brady um, and a couple other guys as well. It's just crazy to see Goff up there at five. Like the top five guys on the left, definitely deserving. Matt Ryan and Tannehill, I think, definitely deserving to be around nine, ten. Cousins at seven, you can make even an argument for. But Wentz at eight and Goff at five. Oof. And I'll read Oof. it for our radio audience. Mahomes one, Dak two, Deshaun Watson three, Russell Wilson. And obviously Wilson. like uh, Lamar Jackson and Jared Allen, or Jared Allen, gosh, Josh Allen <laughs> I just ended up watching a Cavs game, so that's why I just said Jared Allen. But uh, obviously, they're not here because they're still on their rookie contracts. Four, Aaron Rodgers, five. Jared Goff's tied for five. Kirk Cousins, a seven. Carson Wentz, eight. Matt Ryan, nine. And Ryan Tannehill, ten. So I said, okay, let's take those ten. And who do I think are the most talented? Now, the the, the top of this and the bottom are pretty. I, mean, I, think I would probably rank this as like Mahomes, one. Rodgers, two. Watson three, Wilson four, Dak five, probably Cousins six, Matt Ryan seven, Tannehill eight, Wentz or Goff nine, Wentz ten, or Goff and Wentz are interchangeable. That's how I, I think are the mine. most talented. Now, the 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 top of this and the bottom are pretty easy, and then it gets really tight. But here here's who I would say this this is my opinion. If you rank them of the ten highest paid quarterbacks, just on talent, what I've seen. Number one's the, the easiest one, Patrick Mahomes. He's perfect. I agree. Great arm, mobile, good kid, coachable, good kid. appreciative, grinder. There, there's no downside. It, he is, I mean, he's got the highest passer rating in NFL history. <laughs> um, he's the youngest quarterback to lead his team to multiple Super Bowl appearances. This is a once in a generation player. You'll, you know, Kansas City will never, ever get a, a quarterback that good. Probably. That will never happen again. That, that is Brady to while. New England. It happens once. Don't try to duplicate it. You're never going to, Tom, there's never going to be a six round player like Tom Brady. That is Mahomes is number one easily. Number two, you can argue, I'd say Aaron Rodgers, who I think has the quickest release I agree. since Dan Marino. I, the ball comes out like a seed. It's incredible. He also led the NFL last year in virtually every statistical category. Um, I may have issues sometimes. His personality's a little condescending or prickly. But in the end, again, you know how lucky Green Bay is to go from Favre to Rodgers? That's not the way it works. It's like when the Colts went Peyton Manning to Luck. That's not the way it works. Uh, Aaron's a... Or when the Broncos went from Tebow to Manning. Remarkable talent. You cross your fingers, he's had a couple injuries. Uh, but he's got... Good four or five years left. Number three, and it's close, I'd say Russell Wilson. Okay. I think Wilson, I, I put Watson in front of Wilson, but I think those are pretty interchangeable as well. So to me, he's I just agree. a winner. As long as he has Watson four. It's not as artistic. It's not as beautiful as Aaron Rodgers. But he's been in the league nine years. He's been to the playoffs eight. First quarterback in history with a winning record in his first nine seasons. He's the ultimate playmaker. Go Hawks. He's, he's pushed back a little in recent years. But I think if you look, Aaron Rodgers has had much better offensive lines on average. Russell's been running for his life for five years. So I give, I, I you could make an argument Russell's too because he's had to overcome more, which is bad protection. But these three, I don't have any argument with. And four, I think it's hard to argue too, would be Deshaun Watson. Okay. Listen, man, the guy led the NFL in passing yards. How? They traded DeAndre Hopkins. The offensive line was bad outside of left tackle. He's just a special player. I don't think he throws a football that's as pretty as Mahomes or as pretty as Aaron. I don't think, um, I mean, he's, he went 4-12. and 12. He's not Russell Wilson in terms of, he just doesn't have losing seasons. 
But I think the first four, this is really not really arguable. You're just trying to be obnoxious to argue. Now we go to yeah, five. Yeah, that is definitely the first four. At five, I would have Dak. Like, you can maybe make an argument for Kirk Cousins, but no, I would have Dak. Now, I would put in Carson Wentz, and here's why. He had a bad year. What? But then I start looking at that nonsense in Philadelphia, and I think, <laughs> uh, okay, this... Who would have won there? But then, like the other thing is, Chris Ballard, the Colts GM, would have won there. Is one of the shrewdest guys in the NFL. He doesn't pay big money for anybody, and he went and got him. Uh, that tells you Ballard's a pretty smart cookie. He doesn't want to pay big money. He's paying big money at quarterback now. Uh, by the way, Wentz was the first quarterback in league history that had over twenty touchdown passes, seven or fewer interceptions. His first three years in the league had never been done. He is a raw talent. He had a bad year. It happened. Pey- Peyton Manning in year four had a bad year. It happens. Number six, you're, you're going to scoff at this, but we got to reboot how we think about Ryan Tannehill. Folks, I'm not surprised only he's is he a big, low. strong mobile Doc guy and had the second highest passer rating in like the... Of talent, I mean, that's the same as just ranking them. I don't know. I, I wouldn't have Wentz that high. I would have Dak probably at five, and then like a combination of Matt Ryan, Kirk Cousins, Tannehill, and the next three up, and then Goff and Wentz. NFL at the end. since becoming a Titan, second day, like Mahomes, right? The guy led the NFL last year with six fourth quarter and overtime game winning drives. He's been a really clutch winning quarterback, and he's led his team to the playoffs. So he wins. He's clutch. His passer rating is good. You got to take those Adam Gase years out. I was never a fan of Tannehill. Never a fan. But what doesn't he do? He wins. He's clutch. He's mobile. He's productive. By all accounts, he stays out of the news. I'd put him at six. Now we get tight. And you're not going to like seven. I'd put Matt Ryan. Folks, he's been an MVP. Why would Why wouldn't anybody like Matt Ryan? I, I feel like that's definitely. I mean, like obviously, I'd probably attack in front of Matt Ryan, but like. He's been to a Super Bowl. I know he's not much fun to watch. I would argue that. And this is inches, not feet. But he is, he has the most passing yards by any quarterback through the first decade of their career than anybody in NFL history. Matty Ice gives you the same numbers virtually every year. Atlanta's problem is their defense is horrific. He ain't the issue. So. Now, again, it gets close now. A lot of people prefer Dak. Dak's got one playoff win. Man, he's been to a Super Bowl. And by the way, it's not like he's ever had, quote, a great coach. His coach is a little why do you have Wentz up there? Wentz is – he's never won a playoff game as the starting quarterback, right? Yeah, I don't think he has. He's been fired. Dan Quinn got run. I don't get this logic uh, here. The other defensive guy he had before him got run. Mike Smith, I think. So it's not like he's had, you know, he had Kyle Shanahan as coordinator, but I would put Matt Ryan seven. Eight, I would put Dak. Dependable, doesn't throw the prettiest football, but he's only got one playoff win. So he has not been good in, in the last two zero. years against winning teams and playoff teams. He doesn't have a lot of playoff pelt, but I think he's a leader. I think he's liked. I think despite that injury, he's durable. Uh, I think in the last couple of years, he's productive. There's just certain things. I He's kind of the anti-Baker Mayfield where I just kind of, he'll say the right stuff. You know, doesn't matter what the controversy is, the loss, the way, just put him at the podium. He'll just say the right thing. With Baker, <laughs> if I own the Browns, I'd be crossing my fingers. So the other thing about Dak, he had the second higher, highest passer rating by any quarterback in his first five years. So you generally get a very stable player at quarterback. Next is Jared Goff, who I had much higher years ago, but he's become a turnover machine. I don't think there's much Oh, he has cousins at 10. To say here, I think he's going to regress because I don't think he has the coach now. So the offensive line won't be as good. The receivers won't be as good. The coach won't be as good. And I I like Jaron more than everybody else. I always said he was Matt Ryan with a better deep ball. But over the last couple years, he has a turnover issue that you you just can't deny. It's, It's gotten bad. And the Rams moved off. And number 10, not a shot, but I think Kirk Cousins has a very low ceiling. Uh, I think he's a nice guy. 
you know, he's productive, but he, he feels... He likes talking, I feel like, more about characteristics of the player. Nice guy, says the right things. More than actual skills of the quarterback. I just feel Like that. he always shrinks to me in big games, where I don't think Dak does. I don't think Goff shrinks in big games. I saw D- Goff outduel Patrick Mahomes in a big game. Goff, you know, he won a playoff game this past year in Seattle, all banged up. So Goff, to me, doesn't shrink in big games. Bowl. He has a turnover problem. Kirk Cousins, I, I feel like... If I really, in a big game, need him to carry us a little, I, I, I don't think it's capable. So the, I showed you the 10 highest paid quarterbacks, the 10 most talented. And again, every Cowboy fan's going to argue on Matt Ryan and Ryan Tannehill. But at some point... But not once. <laughs> but not Carson Wentz. I got an MVP with Ryan and a Super Bowl with Ryan. And Kirk Cousins, last two years, he's been great. I mean, I don't get it. I never got it. Not a fan of the college. Not a fan of Miami. But at some point, you got to be honest about it. Sometimes you have to take an argument and reboot it and go, okay, this is the data. Tannehill's data the last two years is great. He's Wait, great so he, late. He, he didn't mean to say Cousins. He starts every game. Okay. He's mobile. He gets him to the playoffs. He beats good playoff teams. He, you know, he stays out of the news. There you go. All right. I disagree, obviously, with the Carson Wentz ranking. I think that's way too high. Like, even if he bumped up Wentz, I just think, like, off in front of Cousins, I disagree with. And then, yeah, I just think Wentz is way too high of five. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you completely disagree with that? Or am I being too hard on Carson Wentz? And if you guys enjoyed the reaction, drop a thumbs up if you guys want more style of videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.